from the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy! So good luck to all our players. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game number 121 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $5,725,000. Personal products. Simple science. I might do well on that one. The NFL. And a look at our last category. Bells and whistles. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Personal products for 200. A fig flavored version of this excellent laxative didn't go over, so the company stuck with chocolate. Player one. What is X lax? Exactly. Personal four. Deciding in the 1950s to expand the <coughs> time, Gillette left competitors behind with this right men's deodorant. Player one. What is right guard? Hey, you're correct. Product 600. In 1948, Bristol Myers added antacids to aspirin and created this product. Player three. What is bufferin? Exactly. Hmm. Let's go for bells and whistles for 200. To enter a pool of water, tummy first. Player one. What is belly flop? Definitely. Personal products 800. This clean makeup used ingredients of Noxzema as its base. Player three. What is CoverGirl? Eggs. Oh, of course. That makes sense. Personal products for 1,000. In 1971, flavors were added to this lip balm stick invented by Dr. C.D. Fleet in the 1880s. Player one. What is chapstick? Yes. Bells and whistles, 400. Sailors wore these pants long before they became fashionable in the 1960s. Player one. What are bell bottoms? Exactly. Bells and whistles, six. They supply the weight in Olympic weightlifting. Player one. What are, uh... Dumb, dumbbell, oh. dumbbells. That oh, is no. incorrect. Player two, what are barbells? Yeah. Hey, you're correct. The other one. Let's do simple science for 200. Rhodium got its name because its salts are this color. Player one. What is red? Exactly. Bells and whistles, eight. They're employees who go public with stories of their employer's wrongdoing. Player one. What are whistleblowers? Yes. Bells and whistles, a thousand. Common name for deadly nightshade, a plant that's poisonous in all its parts. Player three. What is belladonna? Mmm. <clears throat> Precisely. Pick again. How about the NFL for 200? In 1940, the Pittsburgh Pirates chose this new team nickname. Player two, oh. what are the Steelers? Yeah, I just thought of that. Yes. The NFL for 400. It's the team name for Seattle's NFL team. Player one. What are the Seahawks? Exactly. Who are the Seahawks? NFL 600. On January 5th, 1996, this Miami Dolphins coach retired with a record 347 career wins. Player three. Who is Don Shula? Oh. Hey, you're correct. I'll take Classic Kitty Lit for 200. Character who finally discovered breaking and entering suspect, Goldilocks. Player one. Who is the baby bear? 
Exactly. Uh, NFL 800. Once on ABC's Monday Night Football, he was the NFL's MVP for 1956. Player two? Who is Don Meredith? No. Not Don Meredith. Anyone at all? Player three. Who is Frank Gifford? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Let's go for a world of knowledge for 200. To go next to your piece of the Berlin Wall, you can buy a lump of coal from this ship that sank in 1912. Player one. What is the Titanic? Precisely. Pick again. NFL 1000. During the 1995 season, this Carolina team played its home games at Clemson Memorial Stadium. Player one. Who are the Panthers? Yes. Classic Kenny Lit 400. Family name of the three billy goats who turned the tables on a troll. Player three. What is gruff? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Classic Kitty Lit for 600. Louise Fitzhugh character who considers spying part of her young life. Player oh. three. Who is Harriet? Yep. Hey, you're correct. And the worst part is, I just Classic thought of that. Kitty Lit for 800. 18th century writer Madame Villeneuve is credited with writing this classic tale as old as time. Player one. What is Beauty and the Beast? Exactly. Kitty Lit 1000. The 1968 Newbery Medal went to From the Mixed Up Bees of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. Player two? What are files? Oh, I would have said yes. tails. I'll try simple science for 400. This element has the symbol in. Player one. What is nitrogen? Exactly. Science 600. This, along with gold and silver, are considered the three precious metals. Player one. What is... Copper. That no. is incorrect. I got thrown Player off. Two? What is platinum? Oh, platinum. Yes. I'll take a world of knowledge for 400. In World War I, the women who had this job were known as Hello Girls. Player one. What are call girls? Ooh. No. Sorry. Is that it? Anyone? Player two? What are letter writers to the troops? Oh, we're Not letter anymore. writers to the troops. Is that it? Anyone? This is what we Telephone want. operators. Give me simple science for 800. Ventifacts are rocks that are shaped by sand driven by this force of nature. Player one. What is wind? Yes. Simple Science 1000. Answer? Okay. The Daily Double. You can make your wager, please. You know, it worked last time, so I'll try it again. True Daily Double. Hematite is an important ore of this metal. Player one. What is iron? Exactly. Double my score. <clears throat> World of Knowledge, a thousand. It's the capital of Peru. Player one. What is Lima? Or Lima, Peru? Yes. Uh, 800. He directed Citizen Kane. Player one. Who is Orson Welles? Exactly. Last one. And the final answer of the round. Before taking the Russian throne in 1762, this great monarch changed her name, her language, and her religion. Player one. Who is Catherine the Great? Exactly. Did it! 13,200 okay, for me. The Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're building up a huge lead, player one. You're not 4,800 for player three. Player two, you're in last place. 1,200 for player two. Things off first in double Jeopardy.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. If we're lucky, maybe we might get the Chicago Bulls here as the uh, for the category Jeopardy here. Round. To the core. Songs of the 60s. On the map. Movies and television. Ordinal number, please. And completing the board, 20th Century America. Hmm. Songs of the 60s for 400. June Carter co-wrote Ring of Fire and later married this country legend who sang it. Anybody? Don't know. Take a look. Johnny Here's Cash. I'll try On the Map for 400. The Bride, the Boyne, and the Shannon Rivers all traverse this country. Player one. What is Denmark? Good answer, but no. sorry. That's wrong. Player three. What is Ireland? Oh. Precisely. My other choice would have been Scotland. Pick again. On the map for 800. Santiago is the capital of this country, this Argentina's neighbor. Player one. What is Chile? Hey, you're correct. On the map, 12. Covering about 40,000 square miles, this island nation is the only country between Scotland and Greenland. Oh. Player two. What is Iceland? Yep, I just Precisely. thought of it. Pick again. <clears throat> Let's Unfortunately, I was too slow. 20th century America for 400. In August 1974, he retired to his home in San Clemente, California. Oh, three. Who is reportedly in a deep depression? I got. Yeah, it was <coughs> Richard Nixon. 20th Unfortunately, century. Unfortunately, I got thrown off because he stopped so early. When completed in 1936, this technological achievement seen here was the world's tallest. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is the Hoover Dam? Exactly. Uh, on the map, 1600. This Nile River country is immediately south of Egypt and just west of the Red Sea. Player two. What is Ethiopia? Oh, we're agreeing. Not Ethiopia. Player three. What is Sudan? Hmm. Correct. I probably would have said Syria. Geography. Hmm. Movies and television for 400. Title of a 1979 Woody Allen film, or where he set his 1993 murder mystery. Player three. What is Manhattan? Hmm. Precisely. <coughs> Pick again. Movies and television for 800. Astride this horse, the Lone Ranger led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Player one. What is uh, silver? Yes. Um, to the core, 400. From 1880 to 1892, this patriotic composer directed the U.S. Marine Corps Band. Player one. Who is Sousa, John Philip Sousa? Exactly. Core for 800. Core for 800. Lying or not, this Marine Corps' nickname refers to a collar once part of the uniform. Player one. What are the leathernecks? Hey, you're correct. Corps 1200. One of the Marine Corps' main training sites is Paris Island in this state. Player one. What is South Carolina? Exactly. 1600 to the core. The Marine Corps' hymn was written after the capture of this capital, home to a castle called the Halls of Montezuma. Player one. What is Mexico City? Yes. 2000 to the core. It's the enlisted Marine rank between private and corporal. Player one. What is Lance Corporal? Exactly. On the map, 2000. 
you'll find this island country about 60 miles south of Sicily. Player one. What is Italy? That no. is incorrect. Player two. What is Malta? Hmm. You got it. That's the country we were after. I'll take ordinal number, please, for 400. It's where Washington was in war, in peace, and in the hearts of his country. Player one. What is where's first? Exactly. Um. Ordinal number 800. Nervous breakdown the Rolling Stones suffered in the 60s. Player one. What is 19th? Hey, you're correct. Uh, ordinal oh. number 1200. Shakespeare's Night to Remember. Player one. What is 12th? Exactly. Ordinal number 1600. A Broadway musical, Street. Player one. What is 42nd? That's the spot exactly. Uh, order number, please, for 2,000. Your helper in a duel. Player one. What is your second hand? Good guess. Oh, no. But it's not what we're looking for. Maybe I wasn't specific Player, enough. What is your second? What? Precisely. Pick again. I'd like movies and television for 1200 In a 1992 <clears throat> film, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey played hosts of this public access cable TV show. Player two? What is Wayne's World? Hmm. Definitely. Oh, songs of the 60s for 800 Song including the lines, you make my heart sing, you make everything groovy. Player three. What is Wild Thing? Exactly. Oh. I'd like 20th Century America for 1,200. During every decade from the 1920s to 1960, some member of this family was governor of Louisiana. Player one. What is Long? Huey P. Long. It's family. That's it. You do know your history. 20th Century America, 1600. In 1912, in Savannah, Georgia, she organized the first troop of Girl Scouts. Player one. Who is Juliet Lowe? Precisely. Pick again. 20th Century America, 2000. In 1987, the Teamsters were permitted to rejoin this group, whose name is abbreviated by six letters. Player one. What is AFL-CIO? Definitely. Uh, songs of the 60s, 1200. Answer? Oh. The Daily Double. Did you make your wager, please? 4,000. Martha and the Vandellas had a hit in 1963 with this hot weather song. Player one. I could have gone all in if I wanted to. What is Heat Wave? Exactly. $30,000. I held back. Song 1600. Fittingly, it's the last song on the 1967 album, The Doors. Player two? What is the end? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Of course. I'll try movies and television for 1600. In a 1956 film, Takashi Shimura was one of these seven warriors. John Belushi would have made eight. Oh! Player three. Who are samurai? And I would have exactly. said that too, but I hit the button too soon. Movies and television for 2000. Answer? Oh! The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Betting it all. This future TV Captain Kirk Spurn the family garment business to boldly go on stage. Player three. Who is William Shatner? That's who we were looking yep. for. 
And the last one. This band took I'm a Believer to number one in 1966. Player three. Who are the monkeys? Definitely. Oh. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. So what I thought was going to be a runaway did not turn out that way. I have 30,000, 26,000 for player 3, 5,600 for player 2. It's final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have just a few seconds to decide on your wager. State, State songs. songs. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. So make sure... She, she would have 52,000. That's why I'm going 25,000. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. The titles of the state songs of Kansas and Kentucky both contain this four-letter word. What is home? Let's see how everyone did. Your question. What is home? Two. Very good. Yes. 5,600. Player three. Nothing. Your question. Sorry, that's wrong. How much did it cost you? 8,000. Player one. Home. Your question. That's correct. Got it. What did you wager? 25,000 for $55,000. Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. So that's five million seven hundred eighty thousand. Have fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Bye, Alex. Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's set things up before we begin our game. Just to confirm it. Let's take a look at your stats. There you go. Five million seven hundred eighty thousand dollars in hundred and twenty-one wins. Well, just like last time, I got very lucky with the daily double being in a category that I remembered really well, and that was simple science in the first round. I held back in the second round because I didn't want to outsmart myself because songs of the sixties is not my strong point but fortunately it turned out to be a clue that I had it turned out to be a hit that I had remember seeing from an episode of rock and roll jeopardy on YouTube but as of now but as of then I should say or I should say though after player three got the daily double right it confirmed in my mind that it was not going to be a runaway I had forgotten about that second daily double but you know what I did good. 55,000 today. So hopefully this was a so hopefully this was a good game for you guys in your views anyway. And of course, it's my channel I can do what I want. Only use the clear site on on a couple of categories, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care what people think. It's my channel I can do what I want. 55,000 today. Will I get to six figures on a regular basis? I don't know. Probably not. I probably would have to get a lot of good categories that I remember for sure. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for game 122.